Welcome back to another video. I am here with the same person that made the why I chose Christianity over Buddhism thing. And today I'm going to be responding to the Wiccan thing because I now know a little bit about Wicca. And yeah, this is going to be probably a speed run because some of these are just stuff that they are repeated over and over again. Like, oh, this, 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 and shit like that. So let's get into this. So the first one is evidence. One of the teachings of Wicca is reincarnation. I don't think Wicca teaches about reincarnation. Buddhism does. So I don't, I, I think you're wrong on that, but pick, uh, Prove me wrong. Uh, there's no evidence to support a reincarnation. Technically, there are a few um, instances of people being reincarnated, though it we can't prove it as real. But there is evidence. There could be evidence. Uh, Christianity teaches we have one life, and that has mu has much evidence for it. Uh, maybe we don't know. How do you know the gods and goddesses of Wicca existed? How do we know Jesus existed? We don't have evidence of him. Can you prove it? Uh, I don't know. Can we? The Christian God has evidence to prove him. See artist description. I am not doing that. That is, those are art. Nah, don't hit me with that bullshit. Satan in Wicca, Satan does not exist. Um, I think he does. Maybe I don't know. But then, how can we explain the origins of demons? Because the practices of Satanism. Who the fuck cares? Or the testimonies of those who have been to hell and back. See artist description. Okay, my question is, how can you prove they went to hell? People say they seen hell when maybe they had a bad nightmare. Christianity affirms the existence of Satan and is very specific about his nature. Yeah, Satan was a fallen angel, if I am proven right. So technically, he was an angel. God. More denial. Oh boy. Wicca denies the existence of heaven, heaven of hell. Okay, um, first off, spelling. I think you meant existence of heaven and hell in the same way it denies Satan. Eh. Again, how could you explain those who have been to heaven or hell? Um, maybe they had a dream. People have been clinically dead before. Okay, Anne? Sometimes as long as 20 minutes. Okay, Anne? And talk about seeing places that are consistent with the Bible's description of heaven and hell. Were they Christians? If they were, maybe that makes sense. Those who have seen or been to heaven and hell have stories that affirm Christianity. Who the fuck cares? What the fucking do? Don't give a shit. Pure evil and absolute morals. Wiccan claims there is no such thing as pure evil and no absolute morals. What the fuck are you talking about? We all have freaking morals, my dude. Morals does not correlate with religion. And pure evil depends on each person. Wicca is just a religion. Each person talks about it differently. Shut up. There's sim this, that is simply illogical. Yeah, your statement was illogical. If someone kills my family, oh boy, we are going to be talking about this. No, we already know that was wrong of that person. That person should go die in a hole. That's my moral. Let's take rape, for example. Are you fucking serious? Are there any times that, when rape should be morally acceptable? No! Unless you know you're in the country that actually defends the person who raped the victim... <coughs> Middle East. I, that's not a lie. That's true. You know that. If not, then it's absolutely morally wrong. It is morally wrong to rape somebody. There. Came from somebody who's studying Wicca and might be Wiccan. Shut up. Since we can logically conclude that absolute morals exist, okay, that means so do absolute good and absolute evil. Nobody is absolutely good. Nobody's absolutely evil. Granted, there are going to be times that we will say that person was absolutely evil until the next person comes around. Everybody's evil and everybody's good, depending on who you are. Yada, yada, yada. Part, point five. Absolute truth. Seriously. Wiccan also states that there's no absolute truth. We all freaking lie at times, okay? The statement is an absolute truth. That statement is an absolute truth. What the f- What? What did you just say? Thus, there is a contradiction. Yeah, you contradicted yourself there. Christianity affirms absolute truth. Do they? Do they really talk about that? Contrary beliefs. But can claims it is not the only way and that all spiritual paths are valid. See, boy, told you right there. However, religions contradict each other, so logically they can all, all be valid. 
They can, depending on who you are. If you don't like one religion because of something in the book, but you like another religion because they don't talk about that, then why the fuck should should they join a religion that they don't like, but join another religion that they actually really like? That's why people are either Wiccan, Jewish, Islamic, Buddhist, even though it's not a fucking religion, Christian, Catholic, so on and so forth. Let people have their fucking religion, my dude. An example is I claim to be a if I claim a fruit to be an apple, but my sister claim, oh my god, we've seen this so many times. Shut up! It, they are both fruit. We get it. Either you're wrong or your sister's wrong. Shut up. Christianity states that is the only way. No, it's not. I have been part of it. I hated it. Lack of standard. Oh my god. Okay, let's get into this. In Wicca, you can worship one or many gods. Yes, you can because there are many. Various ways of of looking at the gods are accepted. Yes, that is true. In essence, it is a religion of self-design. No, it's... Well, depending on your definition of self-design, some people think of self-design as in you created the gods or gods or, or goddesses, which is a no. Self-design can... In that state of, okay, this is what I want to take from each religion, that's basically what everybody does. Some people think... Parts of Buddhism make sense, but they don't want to be a Buddhist. Some people can take parts of Christianity and say they're not Christian. Some people can take parts of Wiccan and say they're not Wiccan. Does that matter? You can believe what you want. Yes, because that's human nature. Whatever works best for you. Ta-da! Doesn't that make sense? This is fundamentally, fundamentally illogical because of this huge contradiction this encompass. What is it? Sorry if you can hear my hamster. If a politician tells us varying things and contradicts himself, we think he's a liar. Oh my god, you just sounded stupid. Here's the thing. You can you can worship any gods or goddesses. You did not mention goddesses in here. Um, you can worship any of them. You can choose one. You can choose two. You can choose as many as you want. It doesn't matter because each one does something separately. Like, you're not going to call for a harina and ask her, hey, can you kill somebody for me? That's not her thing. You can't go to Mars and say, hey, can you watch over my child for me? You can't do that. Those two gods and goddesses have completely different things that they control. One is more for nurture. The other one's for fucking war. Are you going to ask one of them to do something that they don't do. They will probably look at you and be like, what is this fucking idiot doing? Makes sense, doesn't it? You can build upon what you want to do in life. Why else do you think people take courses? If a teacher tells contradicting things, we don't know what is right and what to study for a test. Seriously, shut up. If that is the standard we hold for all all other various paths, thank you for quotating that, and contradictions, then how can we drop that standard in Wicca? Holy shit. Doesn't Christianity have different branches? Wicca does too. It's almost like it makes sense. If you alter your beliefs to cater to what you want or desire, then isn't Wicca just a religion of your own invention? No. Because Wicca has standards. And those standards are, be a good fucking person, don't use your magic for greed, and don't be a petty self-bitch. I'm basically making it simpler for you. This person also says, Christianity is very clear on what is right and what is wrong. No, they don't. There is no guesswork involved. Yes, there is. And the path to heaven is made clear. No, it's not. The same standard applies to all of Christianity. No, it does not. Different branches... Say different things. Catholics say something different. um, Protestants say something different. Regular Christians say something different. Lutherans say something different. They're all different in their own aspects. So which one is correct? Hmm? Are you regular Christian? Are you Catholic? Are you Protestant? Seriously, you sound stupid talking about this. And the fact that you block it. Proof of God. 23 minutes in heaven. More on Wicca. Part of me really wants to go to that site and just see how much of bitching somebody has done to that. But I'm going to end the video here, guys. I am getting a massive headache. Jesus Christ. And before you ask it, yes, this was filmed um, after I did my thing on shoe.
But I just saw this and I was like, I remember this person doing this, but I had no idea about Wicca. So I decided to do research and I did. So basically this person sucks. I understand maybe they've changed, but don't be a fucking retard that says you can't do this because blah, blah, blah. Or I'm this way because of these reasons that I don't want to join this other religion. Nobody's telling you to join a freaking religion. If somebody does, you better sh show them in the middle finger. Don't actually do that. And tell them to go fuck off. Don't actually do that. It's just... Fuck. This is the reason why I stopped being a Christian. But I'm gonna end the here. I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I'm. I'm. Kinda, I just want to be done. I. I just want to be done. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, unless I don't make a video for like a whole year, then yeah, you can find me on my other social medias. Bye bye.